Good afternoon. Well, this is a bit different. I'm, uh, I'm really excited. I'm really nervous. I'm actually shaking either with nervousness or excitement. I'm in the Pyrenees. Specifically, I'm in Andorra de Bella, the capital of Andorra, and I'm riding home. It's been incredibly busy getting through Andorra de Bella. It's just been absolutely frantic uh, traffic and uh, and speed bumps and what they called traffic lights. That's them. And uh, I want to get out of town before I even started this one. Now, this is a tricky thing. According to Garmin, we've got uh, 114 kilometers to go for the first leg and we've got 2,753 meters of climbing. Now, I'm really hoping that's wrong because that's a, that's a lot. That is a lot more than I've ever done and it's a lot more than I'll be able to do on my old bay again, even with the range extender, however frugal I am. Well, look where I am. There's dirty great big mountains all around me. I don't know how much you'll be able to hear because there is a huge headwind. It's supposed to be 40 kilometers an hour with gusts of up to 70 and that's all the way home. And the reason why I'm here is thanks to my neighbours, David and Jane, who were, who were holidaying in Andorra for a couple of days. It's their wedding anniversary. So a huge thanks to you, David and Jane, and a congratulations too. It's the house of cheese. to wave us through. This is a stunning bit of the world. I have once come through here so at least 20 years ago. But the mountains are big. Oh, should I have lights on? No. Okay. so much cooler. But I have this huge lane all to myself. Hello, apart from it. It's all very, very slightly downhill, so it's kind of okay to get a decent speed going. What am I doing? 36, 37 kilometers an hour. Is it me or is this perfect? Perfect, isn't it? This is absolutely what I dream about, about cycling in the Pyrenees. Except for the headwind. It's absolutely beautiful. The road. 
road is like a baby's bottom. People might have a need of a few counters for today's ride. How many times I say stunning, how many times I say headwind. Now, there's a lot of poo on the road. It smells like goats, could be sheep. Let's keep our eyes peeled for either. had our first climb it was absolutely horrible I'm still getting used to this green grass it just smells smells beautiful it really does looks like we're coming into a little town it's pretty as well fantastic road again it's for neighbours, locals only, otherwise it's prohibited. But we're different, we're cyclists. A rare treat for me. This might be the third or fourth video that we've got cows in. Some postcard please, what a type of day. Quite a significant gorge we're having to go through now and the wind which was already as you know quite strong picked up even more. of these things, these mountains, oh, actually out of the headwind. So at some point, I don't know when, my camera decided to stop doing video and taking stills and look where I am. Was it a good time for that to happen? No. No. Um, uh, an alternative route around a tunnel, um, which I was allowed most spectacular roads I think I've ever been on and all I was doing was taking photos. Yes, video. So I suppose if I, I loved you a little more, I'd go back and do it again. This is what we got. I'll remember it, always. We've got some significant wind. It's 572 metres of climbing going that way. So it's my little side trips that I've added onto the route that means that it's 2,700 metres. 
So if I knock that one off, I might bring it down to 2,000. The Pyrenees! I just wanted to show you this rock because on it is one of, I believe, one of Europe's uh, biggest via ferratas. Which is basically lumps of metal banged into the rock so you can climb up it. I can see some of it up the middle there. And there's a, like a suspension bridge lower down. disaster. Um, it's at the top of a 10% descent down through this fantastic gorge. I didn't know it was here, I was just really looking forward to it. And just as I start going over the top, my bag splits open and dumps my range extender on the floor. Only over there in the middle of the road, doing about 30 kilometers an hour. I'm really disappointed. I'm going to name them as well. It's actually an Altura bike packing bag. It's a Vortex 2. I've got two of them. The bigger one, all the seams are sewn up. This one, it's glued. It's just glued. I was talking to Mrs. Yako about it and I was saying, yeah, it doesn't look in such good nick. It's the first time I've ever used it. And what I don't know is just how knackered my range extender is gonna be from dropping on the floor. Um, well, I've cobbled it together with some duct tape and some, uh, velcro straps which aren't really fit for purpose if it falls apart again i don't know what we'll do but uh i'm gonna have to take this beautiful fast descent slowly for fear of rattling my bag apart but never mind rather be on a quiet road than a, than a horrible one. It just looks beautiful doesn't it? Apart from what looks to be an enormous sewage works. It's got to be somewhere. I must confess I don't remember putting in this particular diversion and as you know this is where all the meters rack up. But it's probably very foolish. Oh how about us? That's blooming lovely. It's a baby Clifton suspension bridge. Oh, how lovely is that? And it's downhill.
so we're on the flat and we're doing rather well it's uh we're doing just under 30 kilometers an hour it's not downhill the wind has disappeared it seems to be on the other side of the valley so i'm in the, the lee of the wind at the moment which is nice right alongside the river again oh, is. which is also nice back to enjoying it now but the legs are doing really well today so i'm flying up this hill i turned the battery back off again because i just felt good but it is now on minimum again that's with uh, 40 watts of assistance it's just starting to rain and we just got this nasty hill to climb and that's the first part i think we're on the, the really really big drag of the day which is massive i can't remember how long but it's really long and it just goes on and on and on, and on. here we go change down we're going to need a baby gear for this one and probably more power too oh, the petrol station is open my cam has stopped working so I've been chatting away to you up this interminable climb one of the longest ones I've done it, it just took a long 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 time oh dear it's been a funny old day the rain's come and gone but it's been okay it's been quite refreshing the temperature has knocked off I think just because the clouds are there but um we've got about 40 kilometers to go I'm going to do the whole thing on the main road now. Um, not going to even think about going off piste. The last one I did was a ruddy nightmare. It just, I should have known. It went as soon as we were climbing up a coal, and there was a bit that I had to go around because there was a tunnel that I wasn't supposed to go through. So I thought I must go around it. So off I went, and the first thing I did was drop. And I'd just been climbing for, I don't know, 20 minutes. And it just dropped down to a reservoir, and I thought, I've had enough. I've had enough. So I climbed back up there, got back onto this climb, which this is the top of, and uh, and I've just been slogging away ever since, just having a mini break. Feet are killing me. That is Cerro, Cerro, Cerro. Once fortified little village. So it's got a castle and a church right at the very top, smattering of buildings below. Just thought I'd stop and have a look. Just beginning to lose the light a bit, but look at that. You know, I got excited last week about one field of wheat. That's a whole sea of it. Nearly there. It's been a very hard day and there's a very long climb to go. I need to get to that middle mountain, that one back there. That's where I'm staying tonight. Kubels, Kubais. Pretty little thing. Didn't know it was pretty when I booked it. Very, very happy to have made it. Very hard work, that one. More tomorrow. Two good things about the room. One is that though it's one floor up, and actually two floors up, um, one and a half floors up, uh, they let me bring the bike to the room, and the other thing, even better, it's got air con. I was expecting a hostel. I knew I wasn't going to be sharing a room, but I didn't expect something as nice as this. Don't be proud. I don't know whether it's because it's shut, so we had to phone up the guy to um, let us in. Oh, I can take the helmet off. Look out. Such a hard day. And tomorrow is further, but hopefully 1,100 metres of climbing. I've got no idea what today was. The Garmin had just been absolutely stupid. Well, that's it. That's it for today. So more tomorrow if I can get my camera working if not i'll do what i can with this okay that's it for today i'll see you uh, i'll see you in the morning